All right, good morning again. It's about 10.30, 10.40, I guess. Today uh, is Monday, the 27th of January, 2014. I just picked up my records from Cleveland Clinic. I did leave Dr. Cabral a message telling him that I was not coming back there. Um, as I told you earlier, I did schedule my appointments already with Dr. Harold, Dr. Benson, so I'm going to do that. Um, picked up my records, as you can see here. Um, it's interesting as you read these documents, some good news, actually, if I must say so, and maybe it's good, maybe it's bad, I don't know, but I'm going to take it as good news today until I have my appointment on the 7th. But I have two lumps on my thyroid, if you all can see the bruising that they gave me when I was uh, had my biopsy. But anyway, there's two nodules, two bumps, two cysts, two tumors on my thyroid. Um, you have a left thyroid and a right thyroid, obviously, uh, uh, parts of your thyroid, and I have a tumor on both sides. In the report, um, it does say that on my right thyroid, my right thyroid, about right here, there is a nodule. That nodule is benign. There is no sign of cancer in that right nodule. That is wonderful, wonderful news to me. In the left nodule, however, it definitely says positive for malignancy. The good news about that is there are a couple of few types of um, thyroid cancer. Um, there is one called papillary thyroid cancer. Papillary thyroid cancer is the cancer that about 95% or so of people with thyroid cancer get. It is the most treatable. It is the most curable. It is the one to have, God forbid, you ever have to have cancer, thyroid cancer. So I do have papillary thyroid cancer. Um, the good news, I hope, and uh, look, I'm not a doctor, but I'm just stating this and, and from what I can see, from what I, what I can possibly think, it does not look like this thyroid has spread to any other part of my thyroid since it's only contained in the right side. Now the hope is that since it didn't start threat, spread in the thyroid, that it hopefully has not spread into any of my lymph nodes. If it has not spread into any lymph nodes, and obviously it hasn't spread into the other parts of my thyroid, the potential is that I have stage one papillary thyroid cancer, which would be ideal if you have to have thyroid cancer. It could not be any more ideal. Well, actually, it could be more ideal. I could be under the age of 45, and I, my, my tumor could be less than one inch, or I'm sorry, one centimeter, and then there would be no need for RAI at all. Unfortunately, I'm 48 years old. The criteria is over 45 and over one centimeter diameter for the cyst. And you're usually a candidate for RAI, even at stage one cancer. But I don't know any of this. I could have it spread all through my body at this point. I could have it in my neck. Well, who knows, man? But right now, that to me is good news. And I'm taking that news with me for the week. So that's where I stand. Some good news today. I'm happy to, to, to report. Um, I'll keep you posted as I go through and, uh, you'll hear from me again. Y'all have a great morning. Great day.